Meanwhile, what are you short on? Just two infantry. We're short 3,000 men. Being at war will do that. Castile. Castile's arriving. How annoying. Because they might try and take Quillamane. Aha! Treasure fleet has arrived. Which should mean I can build... Level 6 fort here. It does. Marvellous! Meanwhile, how's Nova Lothian doing? Seems fine. Denmark received Sjelland, Finn, Lolland, Schleswig, Lund, and Ostjylland to Verden. Denmark gave Nordland Kolding to Sweden. Ooh. Imperial Verden is getting pretty strong. That's a point, actually. When can I become an empire? Not for a while. France has declared war on Malacca. Yeah, the colonials are really going colonial. And that is another fort which I need to take. And Denmark confirmed for failed state, yeah. Vizyunga have rivaled me. Oh, speaking of which, I rivaled them. No, I rivaled Malacca. I would like to rival them, though. Who are my rivals currently? Lithuania is completely pointless as a rival. Oh, can't do it while I'm at war. Duh. Take the legitimacy here. Thank you very much. And their reinforcements have all arrived, apparently. Oh, maxed out Diplo. Alright, let's do some more cheap ass development then. There we go. Cheap development done. I think I need to start focusing military ideas. Uh, military. I'm generating the least of it. In fact, it's because I have a plus one. I could really do with a plus three. Manpower. Sounds reasonable. Worth the money. So I'm now generating, yeah, 10, 11, 10. It's pretty good for a monthly income. Tax the coffee. I can't afford to raise taxes on them anymore. Clergy is getting greedy. Again. Limerick. You can have Limerick. Aha. Siege is finished. So now I need to take these two so that Castile cannot. Which is slightly risky because I know that there are some very large armies around. Not very large, but large armies. Castellan Canada's embargoing me. Still pieced out. Okay, good. They didn't take anything. How come I'm getting so many rival... Uh, rival. Rebel chances. Actually, go there, go there. Ah, money. That sounds wonderful. And with said money, I would like to invest in some more universities. Chester as well, yes. And now I'll be absolutely stunned if I don't get the Enlightenment. And now I'm getting too much admin. Um, I 
we're still too far ahead of time. No, nope, let's go ahead and get some more admin development then, I guess. Dorset is a nice cheap one to do. Alright, so that should give us even more money, because clearly that's what I needed. Okay. One there, one there. And we've almost won the uh, Siege of Butua. Butua. France wants military access. France can't screw themselves. Private contractors. Due to a lack of permanent structures, many armies rely on private contractors to provide everything from equipment to entire regiments. I'll take the corruption because we are paying that off really quite quickly because we're so far ahead of technology all the time. And speaking of which, aha, their armies have appeared. Form up. 26,000? I thought 26 was the max. Oh no, it's 30, isn't it? Stop sieging the stuff back again. Let's do that. Ah, meanwhile I finished the siege. So half of you can go there, half of you can go here. We're going to try and... We're basically trying to knock out the 21,000 before these guys can reinforce. Also, this is nice open flat plainy area. And I am losing this fight. God damn it with this morale. It's a big freaking problem. Run away to Zimbabwe. Oswego. That's... That's a minion problem. I need more manpower. As much as I want to continue building a silly number of universities, I need more manpower. Oh. Colony self-sustaining. Good. Give me those colonists. In which case, I'm going to start working on Canada. I mean, we could actually do Hudson Bay. Which is actually slightly wealthier and would allow me to take over some of this stuff. So we're going to go here and we're going to try and cut them off from behind. So while they may have the near coastal stuff, we'll have the other bits. Converted to Sunni. Oh, what? Definitely, definitely having manpower problems. There we go. That's more like it. Squish. Well, we've already taken the... Okay, I can't take the bits that I've never seen. Controversy over vestments again. I'll take the church power again. And 
We'll go for a second colonist out here. Colonize all of the things. All of them. All your colonies are belong to me. Actually, you go on to Tet. And you can deal with Zumbo, I think. Treasure fleet has arrived. That would mean more... Universities of manpower. I think it's now actually too late to get universities. They would not be built in time. So we'll go for the manpower instead. Steal her back. Arrgh. Get there quickly before they do. I want to make sure I keep the coast. There we go. The top is mine. Not yours. Mine. Mine, 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 mine. Rebel, that's fine. Easily beaten. Oh. Actually, what I can probably do... Ah. <laughs> Can't take Zimbabwe, but I can take everything else. I am okay with taking everything else. Then we'll reduce the amount of money we're making. You make so much less money from wars now. Which is good. This this is a better state of affairs. Fifteen ducats plus all the land. And Castile gets nothing. That's how I like it. Oh, and I force Castile to head home again. <laughs> and Castile cannot cause Zimbabwe, so there's no point in them taking it. And frankly, these are cheap enough that I'm just going to go ahead and core them all. Beautiful. Alright, so let's grab our troops, bring you all together into one place, and split you in half. New Lothian. Already? Colonial Assembly? Why? 36% liberty desire. You're tiny though. Maybe I need to have two, colon uh, two diplomats keeping up. Oh. I don't actually have any doing that. Oh, the guy oh the returning guy was from the peace deal and whoops no not you cancel that you cancel that there we go you do that misclicked didn't mean to send one of those home new world diamonds diamonds is a type of stone so durable that they cannot even be polished Say from using its own dust, as long as it's the most rare of all precious stones. For centuries, India has been the only no known source of diamonds in the entire world. And even there, it is only found in a few well-guarded mining regions. With the discovery of large quantities of diamonds in inland South America, however, diamonds have become something not only for kings and princes, but also for rich magnates, burkhas, or other connoisseurs of jewellery. Castile. Price of gems, minus 50%. Ouchies. Okay, um, so who's this? Kilwa. Kilwa has no allies. Kilwa in trouble. <laughs> now, how much tradition am I gaining? I'm still up 0 0.5.
So what I should, oh wow, these are level sixes already. Blimey. They got conquered quickly in that case. Right, I have a free diplomat. We can declare war on Kilwa. Wait, Zan? Oh, Zanzibar, right. Which is up here. Which would be absolutely lovely to take. And I should maybe make a bit more about going after it. Because Zanzibar is a very, very profitable region to have. Uh, more money. And then more manpower buildings, I think. Like my maximum is 99,000, but I'm 11,000 short because of all the wars I'm fighting here in Africa. Although, this attrition is not going to be helping matters. Diplo is maxed out. Again. Let's sort by cost. Build up Dorset a bit more. Build up Derby a bit more. Hampshire. Oxford. Devon. That'll do. Because we're only two years away from teching up anyway. Meanwhile, another colony self-sustaining. Nova Lothian continues to grow. We should probably put some... Some work over here, especially as that is a natural harbour which becomes a centre of trade. Need to wait until Zanzibar falls and then we can probably make a peace deal. And then after this, maybe Melindi. And we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of rebel problems down here. But we do have quite a lot of troops down here too, so. Swings and roundabouts. Right, let's make sure we take Zanzibar. Those two. Those two. We can't take those because they are occupied by somebody else. But we have Zanzibar. Which is great, because that means I'm going to have a lot more control over the Zanzibar trade region. In fact, I should have near complete control. I just need to turn more of this stuff into a uh, trade center. What are they called? Uh, trade companies. And now I definitely need to wait for manpower. Yeah, more and more rebels. That's fine, we have numbers over here. Mordor! Mordor! Oh, good grief, that's a lot of people. Uh, ha ha ha. Right, okay. I will admit, I was not expecting it to be that many troops over here. That is kind of a ridiculous amount. And we're at 0.5 tradition now. Still need more forts. <laughs> so we're going to have, what, 30, 45,000 over there. Uh, with a lack of manpower, well, we can get mercenaries. We can get a lot of mercenaries. So I think that's what we're going to be relying on. Let's go and deal with them. Let's wait until the reinforcements arrive, shall we? Go.
Oh, just, just muted that one just in time. That was close. All right. So we have loads of cash, which I think I'm going to save just in case we do need the uh, mercenaries. It'll be fine. Denmark will cede Gong, Blecking, and Halland to Sweden. And with that, Denmark is reduced to Bornholm. And how far out are my transports, I wonder? Quite a long way. And I really am going to have to leave my troops down here to deal with these. So hopefully 45,000 troops over there is going to be enough. With mercenaries. Widespread opposition. Our nation is extremely infamous. And there are a lot of people in Scotland that have taken exception to this. Oh, that's why. I totally didn't realize that I was still coring stuff. I thought that had finished already. Okay, this is going to be a very dark time. I'm not going to convert anyone while rebel uprisings are so problematic. Do that. Does that have an effect on these chaps? Not really. Okay. Development of veneering. Initially, many types of tropical wood could be considered too brittle by woodworkers. With the development of veneering, however, it has become possible to make use of ebony and other tropical woods selected for their beauty rather than their strength. As a result, the creation of useful and original cabinets and other prestige furniture from tropical woods has grown into a major business. The price of tropical woods has gone up by 50%. Corruption is growing. I could do a lot of converting, but I think I'm going to hold off. Um, right, it is time for me to hit the Merc Infantry button. There are going to be a lot of rebels. How long before... Some of these are done. Three months. And he told out for three months. I expanded too quickly. I expanded far too quickly. Thankfully, we built a bunch of forts up here, so we can actually contain this virus fairly easily, but it, it's going to hurt. Also, can we tech up? We could. I think we'll wait. And it's August already. I said August, right? Oh, August next year. We have to hold out for a year. Oh. Misread that. Okay, you've arrived. Good. Jump on the ships. Head on over here. Drop off in Cornwall. Time to take some loans. And by some, I mean a loan. Get another 10,000. Then with that, we should be able to start doing some damage. Like the siege on London. How are you even sieging London? You do not have the minimum required troops for this. Wait, Lund? Oh. I apparently never upgraded London. Alright, fair enough. Meanwhile, rebels down here, go and crush that. And then when you're done, go and do that. Let's do this at the same time, shall we? Uh, rebels almost all, religious rebels almost always want to convert your state religion. Probably to Catholicism, which I'm not doing. I'm making too much money out of Anglicanism. Anglicanism. Anglic... whatever. Words. Right. Uh... You guys can merge up. You're going to need a general. I think I might just go ahead and recruit another. You're terrible. But, yep. Slightly better. I'm 
And there it is, the Enlightenment. The last century has seen rationalism and empiricism gaining an ever-increasing popularity among the great minds of the age. In letters, publications, or coffee houses, kings, scientists, philosophers, and literateurs are discussing the merits of intolerance, the scientific method, and the spreading of the Enlightenment ideals to all humanity. From universities or courts or enlightened monarchs, expeditions are being sent to measure, catalogue, weigh, and map the world so that it can be better understood the laws that govern the things around us. Others discuss the laws that govern society and try to reach an understanding of the rights of man. Oh, Vijayangar got it. In Vijayangara, a colossal understanding undertaking has begun in the assembly of the complete encyclopedia of all knowledge. The light of reason can now be lit, and me many will not rest until it has been brought to all corners of the world. Probably because half of my universities are currently occupied by bad guys. Damn it! Oh well, I screwed up. Sorry, Europe. Well, at least my armies are absolutely crushing it right now. Oh, we took a couple of hits that time, though. So with that, we're going to spread out. And we're going to go and recruit more. Prussia is in civil war. Did we win the fight in Africa? Yeah. And with all these rebels rising up, actually, they, they, they're they going to be reducing their rebel chance. Oh, and we can buff up. Military tactics goes up. We can now build fortresses, which is the next level of upgrade that we're going to need to to, to do. Uh, okay. I think we're going to need to bring in some more mercenary infantry, to be quite honest. I think that we can start converting again. Of course, the uh, rebel risk is going to disappear very, very shortly. Scottish peasants, that's going to be here. Astani. We're going to go and harsh treatment that. Don't want to deal with it right now. Scottish peasants, not a problem. They're going to have even less morale than I do. And that is impressive. Thankfully, these guys have even less morale than I do. Oh, it's particular times 0.75. They lose. They have 25% less, just default. Malacca is no longer a rival. Need to pick a new one. Which is probably going to be Vijayanga, because I want their trade. Plus, they've rivaled me. Alright. Um... Let's go and grab these. I would like to be in the Outer Hebrides when you arrive, because I suspect that's going to count as a uh, crossing. Where are you going? Outer. Outer. Go up there. There we go. Cores are happening. Kind of close. The foreign quarter of Asin E. For a long time, foreign merchants have been settling in Asini in order to conduct trade in our country. Lately, however, with the intensified activity of the Kingdom of Portugal, the quarter has grown into a city of its own. Yeah, Portugal is kind of growing rather quickly. We'll encourage them. Oh, really? You got here before any of us? And now I'm going to be suiciding the 11,000. Fantastic. Now I get the crossing penalty. Thankfully, they still have the morale penalty. Losing more men than I had to, though. We're 50,000 short. <laughs> I 
And the Dutch are being taken down. I never... Oh, I did build the uh, fort there. Okay, good. London, did you ever get upgraded? You have now. And with that, I'm going to say thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. If you are, be sure to hit that follow button to get notifications when I'm live in the future. If you've really enjoyed this, do consider subscribing. It helps the channel out and lets me continue doing this. If you want to support the channel in other ways, check out my YouTube channel, which you can find at youtube.com slash Viking, or you can go to that handy link there. I do have a Patreon if you want to support the channel in alternative fashion. You can find that at patreon.com slash Viking. I have a Discord as well, which you can find at this link here. That is where I tend to announce what I am streaming, when I am streaming, that type of information. It's also where the community hangs out. They're a cool bunch. They know an awful lot about games. So if you need any tips or advice or anything like that, uh, it's a good place. I also, people with similar interests to you hang out there. So if you want to come chill out, it would be great to see you. So thank you, everyone, for watching. My next stream will be in an hour. I'm going to go and grab something to eat real quick. So in one hour's time, we will be doing... Hearts of Iron 4, Waking the Tiger. Uh, that's going to be a new game because I basically finished the Nationalist China one. Not entirely sure who I'm going to be playing just yet. Uh, might decide that during the stream itself. So who's currently streaming? 